I feel like she's playing the game and she needs to get out of there. Not everyone in there has got good intentions for you. So, oh, mate, Dylan is a class in there. I'm rooting for him. Hi, guys. I'm Zach. You're watching Spy in the House with Digital Spy. Um, so obviously, like a lot of the times, Kerry, she's always paying that mother role to like all the youngsters in there. You know, she's like, oh, kids do this. And I was like, mother, should, da, da, da. you know, they're playing that mother and daughter role and kid role and son role, whatever in there. But as soon as everybody heard, get Kerry out, get Kerry. I feel like a lot of them are like taking a step back a little bit. Of, like, okay, why is everyone saying that? Should we be worried? Is she doing something that we're not seeing or hearing? So I feel like a lot of people in there are stepping back from her. But I feel like at the moment, she's still trying to play that role. Like, listen, there are Zach's fan, the reason this is because da da da, because me and Kerry, we had a bit of a conflict in the house. So she's just trying to say like, don't worry about it. Like I'm not that type of woman. I'm here for everyone. I've got good intentions for everyone. But she's a lovely woman, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit straight with it. I feel like she's playing the game and she needs to get out of there. Don't get me wrong, when I was in that show, yeah, like I had, at the end of the day, it's a, it is a game. Everyone is in it to win it. Everyone was trying to say, oh no, we don't, we're not here for the money, we're here for the experience, there, there, there. But let's let's be honest, you're all in there for the 100k, so I'm gonna be truthful with you. Um, so there were a lot of the times where you know I could see groups getting formed, conversations are being a bit more tactical. Because when I'm walking out to the, the back garden, everyone's bah, 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 and as soon as I walk over, the conversation just goes silence. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And you know, it gets you thinking. And you know, and a lot of the times, everyone had their own little group, everyone had their own little thingy. So you know, everyone's in it to win it. So yeah, it is a game and I feel like a lot of people in there are playing the game and they're just, they're not genuine as a team. Um, if I were to go back into the show, no, probably not. I'm just one of those people, I stay true to who I am. I'm going if I went, if I got to go back in the show, I'd continue being who I am, but I'd definitely be careful who I vent to and I'll be careful who I talk to in there, realizing what I've seen and hearing what I'm hearing at the moment, because not everyone in there has got good intentions for you. It's very, it's a, it's, it's a cold world in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like, I feel like Dylan, Nokia, I feel like Dylan, because when I was in there, Dylan always had my back. He's one of those guys that I was like, he listened to, I said, listen, Dylan, I don't, I don't like gossiping, but you know what's going on, I know what's going on, you can see it. Yeah, he goes, yeah, yeah, of course I can see it, but when things came out about me, Dylan was like, listen, anyone got beef with that, they got beef with me, there, there, there. If you ain't got beef with that, I ain't got beef with you. But I feel like Dylan, he's one of those guys, he's catching on to what's going on in the house, because he hasn't got a dynamic either. He's just a chef, he cleans up for everyone. So, you know, I hopefully somebody takes him under his wing and looks after him because he needs a bit of backup in there because at the moment he's a lone, lone ranger. So yeah, if you know, everybody in there needs to have Dylan's back. So my time on the show, I wish, just wish the show the softer side of me. Um, I watched the last few episodes back, you know, there's a lot of like Henry like going to the diary room saying, you know, Zach, you know, he's an alpha male, he's always spudding me, he's always doing that. I find it quite intimidating. But there's a lot of moments where I mean, and Henry just sat down, sat down and just had genuine chats together. And you know, there was a lot of moments where Yingran cried to me. And there was a lot of moments where I shared my story to Yingran. She got really upset by it. And she shared her story to me. They didn't show none of that. And I just felt like they should have shown the, you know, the softer side of me a little bit because I'm more than just that six foot model tough guy that everybody thinks I am. I'm not, I'm, I'm you know, deep down, I'm, I'm a very, spiritual guy, I'm one of those guys you can open up to. Everyone calls me uncle back at home because everyone comes to me for advice. So I just wish they showed, you know, the softer side of me and the sensitive side a little bit more rather than this alpha male side. Not, not, not in a bad way, but I feel like Trish, like, you know, I love Trish to bits. I'm rooting for Trish as well. I hope she gets in the top five. Um, she's one of those girls, like anything that, you know, she weren't happy with, she'll confront them. Anything that she felt like she, she had a say in it, she'll say it. She's just one of those girls didn't hold back. She was fiery, she was sassy. She was just down to like confront anyone for anything. So yeah, Trish is very opinionated. If she don't like something, you'll, you'll know about it. <laughs> the hardest person to live with, um, I reckon I'd probably say Paul and Olivia. I love Paul, he's one of those lads, lads, but he just doesn't know when to switch off. You know, like three, four in the morning, the guy's doing zoomies around the room, doing backflips, throwing pillows at everyone, winding everybody up. Luckily, he didn't do it to me, but like, I'm a light sleeper, so when I'm trying to sleep, it's very hard to try to get to sleep. Uh, and Olivia as well, she was, I love Olivia, believe it or not, like she's such an intelligent woman when you actually get to speak to her in depth, like I said. But at the same time, like, her singing, her loudness, she just, oh, she just, she, she had a gift and a gab, do you know what I mean? Every situation, she always had to, yeah, 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 yeah. But apart from that, like I said, she's a down-to-earth girl, I love Liv, but like, very loud.
the loudest person in the morning. You know what? I'd probably say Dylan. You know, as soon as the lights come on, everyone's still like uh, 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 staggering out of the bed. Dylan, first one up, puts his leg on, goes, makes everyone a brew, makes everybody breakfast. Oh, mate, Dylan is a classic, mate. I'm rooting for him as well. Um, I feel like the person deserves to win the show this year. I'd have to, I'd have to give it to. Ying Ran or Noki? I feel like with Ying Ran, she's just an innocent, genuine girl, and I feel like you know, the world needs to see more of Ying Ran. She's so, she's so cute. Like you know, me and her, we had so many moments together. Um, unfortunately, they didn't show none of the moments me and Ying Ran together, which you know was quite sad because she was like my little sister in there. And Nokia, uh, she had my back to the very end. You know, regardless of the situation, regardless what happened. She was always the first one to defend me and have her back, and I feel like she'll do that for anyone. Uh, the message person to live with, I'd probably say, believe it or not, I feel like I said Henry because I just watched him quite a lot. He's one of those guys, he'll eat, he'll drink, but you never ever seen him clean a dish. So he's one of those guys, I don't know if he's at home where he comes from, so he's got someone who does his dishes for him, or he's got a personal cook or cleaner, but I've never seen him lift a finger when it comes to cleaning up. <laughs> so the person who did the most cooking and cleaning was Dylan. Every morning, you know, he's always making breakfast for everyone, every dinner he's cooking for everyone, the dishes, he was always cleaning up for everyone. But I asked him, like, yo, let me get involved. Like, you know, there were nights where I clean up with him and enjoy it, he goes, bro, like, the reason I do this is because he keeps me sane, he gives me so much to do, it's therapeutic to me, and it helps me, like, you know, split up my day by cooking and cleaning for everyone. So it's, he took that job role as like the cooker, the cleaner straight away. So uh, that's his role, that's his niche. I feel like everyone's scared to nominate him because they know there's gonna be no dinner, there's gonna be no one cleaning. So yeah, everyone's scared to lose him. So I feel like Dylan's he's in a good place right now. Uh, the person I'm learning the most from, I, you know what, believe it or not, like, I, I, I learned a lot from Matty. Um, you know, he shared me a lot of the way he used to live because he said he used to live like communes. Uh, he used to live with like, you know, random people around the world. Um, and the way he explained things, you know, he's very spiritual and, you know, he's one of those guys that, you know, to tell you, like, listen, you don't need this to be happy, you don't need that to be happy. So I felt, and also, I, I think the same way, because I'm one of those people, like, everything I do and everything I make, I give it, I give and give, 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 I don't like taking, I like giving. So he was, similar ways, we shared quite a lot of stories together and, you know, we had a really special connection in there, me and Matty. And you know, he's one of those people, if you speak to, you can learn a lot from him, the way he looks at life and the way he views life. The thing that surprised me about the show the most that people talk. Like, I, I genuinely think people talked. Uh, but as soon as you know, you walk away, you turn your back on them, bam, bam, bam. Like, there's a lot of gossiping in there. I'm one of those guys that I, f I feel like I'm living in a fairy tale sometimes where everyone's just getting along, everyone's just friendly with each other, and everybody's just there to help each other out and just share experience with each other. But as soon as you walk away, there was gossip going on here, there was gossip going on there. Believe it or not, yeah, I feel like as the weeks goes on, there's gonna be a lot more fiery stuff coming out. There's gonna be a lot more tension, and a lot more gossip. But yeah, I was very surprised of how much people gossiped about other people because I didn't realize how much it was going on until I came out and watched a few clips back. <laughs> um, I love, I can't wait to see Dylan. I can't wait to see Noki. I can't wait to see I believe it, Jordan, because I mean Jordan, we had so many chats in there. Jordan is just one of those guys you can just speak to for hours and hours, and anything he says will just make you laugh. So I feel like he's going to be good company. And uh, Paul as well, you know, he's one of those lads, lads. So I feel like me and Paul would have a good night together on a night out. He seems like he's just up for a laugh and just have a good time on a night out as well. And Tom, you know, Tom, he reminds me of my little brother a little bit, you know, innocent, is a butcher, he's never really left Somerset. So I feel like getting him out of there to the real world would be good for him. Uh, the nomination that surprised me the most was Henry. Uh, believe it or not, like, me and Henry, we was quite close. Uh, I feel like he did it tactically there. I'm not sure if he heard any conversations, people talking about me playing a game. I feel like he thought, okay, a lot of people think Zach's playing a game, I'm gonna nominate Zach to keep my own back. But like, you know, after the first nomination, after we, me and Henry started speaking, I, you know, opened up to him quite a lot. I tried my best to get to know him. Um, I tried my best to just have a little connection with him and I, I didn't just open up, opened up I said to him, you know what Henry, I'm going to be truthful when I first came in here, I didn't really say I tried with you, but the more I talk to you, the more you've grown on me and I feel like you are a wicked guy and I'm sorry for thinking of you when I first came in. He's like, yeah, you too, Zach, I love, you know, you're a great guy, like da da da, and then two, three seconds later, he's in the diary room saying, Zach's this, Zach's that. I'm just like, it's crazy. But yeah, that's, that took me by surprise. Yo guys, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe for more Big Brother Secrets.